John Nix, okay. Yeah, so that was winner's quarter. Oh, so now we have yeah. uh, Jenna Oh, Carpool these two are just getting right into it. So this is, uh, these, this, these are two players I love watching play. Yes. Also, they're probably going to play the whole set on PS2. These are both players, I mean, if you talk to Jen, he'll tell you, like, he's really good at, like, like ramping up or slowing down the pace. But he will like play super slow when necessary against Carflow. He really gets to like lean into his fast play, fast paced play, right? Yeah, I feel like almost you're you're forced into it when you're playing against Carflow. Yeah, for sure. But Jen is the type of player where like he can actually match that pace, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Where a lot of players they, they play against Carflow and they just get run over. Yeah. Jen is actually the type of player, and part of this is obviously you know Palatina has really good movement, really good mobility, but yeah. Jen actually has the ability to play just as fast, if not faster, in some in some cases. Good grab car flow. I mean, look at how much percent stacked up, and it hasn't even been a minute yet. Yeah, this is going to be, going to be definitely a very back and forth matchup. But one thing you got to be careful with uh, as the Roy player here is just being exploited off stage. So you're seeing car flow really prioritizing, controlling the neutral, keeping Pal in disadvantage, and then looking. Let's see if he can find that jab and connect. Or F really good F tilt. Yeah. yeah. So the thing. This is an interesting type of matchup to watch because like. This is very much like a like a day one matchup. Yeah, but the OGs thing, ultimate. Yeah, OGs, right? Like these are like the OG top tiers. Roy definitely has a little more weaknesses in exchange for yeah. better kill power, right? And I think right. the thing that the thing that's going to be really hard for Jen is that if you can't find like an edge guard or a big ledge trap, yeah. or just like a back air, like you need That'd to find that. He's going to have to find that back air, and he that bait was just so good, and Carflow just took it, swinging from the ledge and. Dying for it. Nice tech chase, though. Very Cola esque there. Just running. Nair from ledge here, though. And this is 37. An up air and another up air is going to be here. Jen already just bringing it back to even from zero. This is hot. Yeah, this is going to be definitely a showdown. But Carpool doing a good job of getting out of ledge from over there. Oh, that was such a crispy tomahawk. Utilizing Palatina's great air drift there and the bait again. The shield discipline from Jen so good, but a reversal from Carflow getting a Very shield nice. grab. Teleport back, but the F tilt hitting the roll there. Good stuff. Teleport to the center. One of Palu's best options for sure. Yep. I definitely want to do that in this matchup. Oh, yeah, because you can just get away from Roy. Yep. And he kind of has to respect the option. The Nair there, though, picking up. Some extra damage, neutral reset, a nice backer here from Jen. And the explosive flame actually going to pick up. Carflow caught just that little frames lacking even in reaction time, right? Yep, yep. It's a good it's a good check throwing out the explosive flame as oh, you're yeah. recovering because, one, you have to respect it, and then two, if you don't, if you forget, then, yeah, you're going to take, Ooh, it, take it. But that was nice. Carflow chasing onto the platform. Yeah, the up -tilt. and that up tilt, I think, covered every option. Yeah. Because it covered the reverse hit will hit the missed tech. And then the, it hits in front and behind as well. So just really clean stuff from Carflow. Great awareness. Yeah. Great whiff punish here from Jen, though. The parry. Such good stuff. It's such a treat to get to watch Smash like this in New York. Not to say that we don't have good sets, but we don't really have, like, Pally Roy very often. Yeah, I think this is definitely the first time I've seen these two compete at a Xeno. But I'm sure they've played plenty of sets, but this is... Definitely the type of gameplay you like to see. Two yeah. top tiers just mashing it out, or For sure. <laughs> just mashing I it mean, out. We're no, all... Very calculated mashing. <laughs> well, I mean, you can tell it's calculated and stuff, because, like, despite the fact it's, like, a really fast-paced match, and, you know, like, both both players obviously, like, going at it, it's almost been four minutes. Yeah. Which just shows, like, the neutral itself is very dynamic and, like, yes. really almost chess-like. Yeah. Oh, Carflow going for the 1-2-3 there, and the back air actually hurt box shift. It looked like... We can get this on the replay, maybe get a frame by frame. It looked like Roy Hurtbox shifted around the back air. Interesting. Because he gets a little thinner when he does the animation. Like, let's see. Uh, Look at this. Maybe? Hold on. Uh, oh, the back air missed. Like then that, yeah. The back air just... Or I think Carfo just made it like barely gone under. Yeah, you see that? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. like a little hurtbox shift. You see? Wow. Yep. 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 That's all it takes. Running it right back to PS2. No surprises. And if you're Gem, I mean, it's hard to. Thank so oh, thank you so much. Chad is a helper, bringing us water in the comms booth. Yeah, big juggle here from Gem. I think all he needs is to just like he just. 
didn't get as many openings as he might have liked, but I think he just needs to focus more on, like, once he once he gets a hit, maybe, like, instead of going in for hits more, like, playing a little more positionally great pivot grab, too. I think also playing around shield is going to be key there. Just, like, making sure, like, you're a bit tighter on your spacing, making sure that you're pressuring shield in, like, more diverse ways, because car flow is really quick to react with either a grab, an up and an air, whatever. Great angle there. They get up attack. Carfalo has just done a great job of not putting himself in a bad spot. Like, yeah, for sure. Great back throw here, too. You know, right here is where Jen should be taking the majority of the stocks, and there we go. Perfect yeah, example. great. And now that... Yeah, that's... I mean, Jen kills with that every time, and now Nair from ledge, and this could get out of hand really quickly. Actually gets the down throw to the back air there. Beautiful. Yeah, really good stuff. And I mean, Jen just picking up more percent. All the percent here matters. Back air at a shield on the cross up. And this is what I mean, right? Like where he has these good positions, just focus on maintaining the advantage, not extending too far. Don't give, like, don't give Carflow anything for free. See, like he's chilling in the corner. He's happy to just let Carflow sit there because he knows that he's in the position where he has the lead. And when Jen starts to play a little slower, and, I mean, even dare I say camp a little bit, you're in for something special. Well, definitely a big dynamic shift from game one to here because now, as Jen has attacked on, pretty sizable lead. A um, pressure kill here, though. Yep. Yeah. It looks like this is a pretty consistent way to lead you to the victory in game two. Yeah. Great. Catches the rollout with an F throw. Ooh, Tries the run-off like counter. Oh, no down air. That would have been a huge momentum swing for Carflow's flavor, but nothing quite yet. Air dodge out from Jen. I was going to say we haven't seen as much... Uh, we haven't seen Jen contest as much off stage so far in both games one and two, but the the one time he tried, unfortunately, just missed time to counter. But now we're just in a tough situation. Yeah. Carflow just throwing out these swords. Great forward air. I mean, Carflow's definitely brought this back in a good way. And this is sort of what I mean, where at these percents, if Paolo doesn't find a big hit, it can be really hard to get a kill. And now Jen in the corner. It looks like maybe he tried to grab there, yeah, or maybe it was just a, yeah, or maybe he just spot dodge. Great up oh. air there though. Not gonna kill for another like twenty percent. And the side B and the double edge dance gonna pick up the stock. This could be Jen's winner's life. Our flow, really in the driver's seat now, trying to see if he can take on some additional damage on this last stock. Yeah, and yeah. If I'm Carflow, I'm really trying to, you know, maybe take some risks right now because even though you have another game to play with, this might be your biggest opportunity to get Jen out of yeah. here on the winner's side. I mean, these two players are playing such discipline neutral right now, yeah. but Carflow with the opening hit, and now Jen's in the corner, has to play his way out of here against Roy, but the great back air to get out, and now he is advantage. Let's see. No back air kill here, but oh my god. Carflow's forward air has been really good, but bad DI on the dash attack. Yeah, I'm surprised dash attack killed it yeah, at 163. He held in and yeah. air to shield here from Carflow and the dash attack, and this could be a stock. No, oh. teleports on the stage actually for Jen. Interesting, and now eats an upbeat at a shield. Paolo can make these percents up very quickly, but he needs to find an opening, and against a player like Carflow, he has this advantage. He may not get the chance. Jen jumping all over the stage. Ooh. No tech chase. And this, this is a very be, scary situation. Anything so will scary. kill right now. F tilt, side B, jet back air. You got to look out. There's a lot of options Ooh. on the table right now. The shield discipline from Jen there to go for the grab. Oh, but whiffs some spaghetti here. Down throw, though. Yeah. Platform tech chase with the up air. Another up air and uh -oh, another nair. Take some damage. I mean, another nair here. Oh, the F smash. That would have been a crazy read. Jen with the discipline here, though, and the sour F tilt. Teleports to the ledge. Let's see what it is. A get-up attack, but not punished. Teleports back to center. You're crazy. <laughs> Teleporting to center there is so risky. Very. Because, like, a burst option will kill. Up throw not going to take it quite yet. The next one might, though. Rising Explosive Flame, not quite. But Carflow Shield a little low. Maybe we see a back air shield poke at some point. Just pay attention to that. This ledge trap. Oh, this could kill? Not quite. No rage on Carflow. But actually catches the jump with the forward air. And Carflow makes the upset over Jen. Very nicely done there by Carflow. And yeah, that's that's definitely an upset, right? What's the um, what were the seeds at least here for? Today? Well, I can tell you, ranking wise, Carflow is in like the tens area, yeah. and Jen is number four. Right. And Jen is also known for showing up in winnings, you know. But yeah, I mean, look, we still have plenty more matches to play, and we'll see Jen go through the losers bracket, and maybe he makes his way back to Carflow. So we'll I see what wouldn't be surprised. And I mean, Carflow in winners finals now. Who yeah. and Carflow gets to play the winner of Helper and Numbers, Helper and right? John. Yeah, but 
I know before Helper and John play, we're going to go to a quick break. We are going to do maybe some caster swapping. But, you know, this is a good block. Get a pleasure nice to, to meet you. you. Nice and to meet you as well. Yeah, I mean, stick around. We have some more good sets coming after this break. And, yeah. Take care, everyone. <laughs>